Well, it seems that the winter 2018 anime season isn't going to be disappointing, and with a lot of great picks from new series and continuing ones, there's one that just caught my eye and I wanted to make a video about it. For one, it's a romance story, which is something that I'm partial towards, but it's a little different from the usual fare. For one, the characters don't screw around, and there's a lack of cheap, convenient misunderstandings for the sake of melodrama, and you're probably gonna know what this one is. It's called After the Rain, or Koiwa Amegari no Yo. For one, the confession ends up going through by the end of the second episode, so there's no screwing around there, but there's still a problem. One person is 45 and the other is 17. Now I know what some of you may say, they're Japan girls again being weird, but I don't think it's like that at all. And the reason this is, is because you can't help but laugh before stopping to hold your breath in anticipation, just so you can break back out into laughter, all for their sake. That's why this story doesn't feel like it's just for mere shock value. What struck me first was our main heroine, Akira Tachibana. She's someone who's direct and driven, screwing around is something she does not do. And she wasn't screwing around at all, being the track star from school. However, a leg injury forced her to slow down and take a good look at her life. Now, with all this free time, she ends up working at a family restaurant so that she doesn't completely melt in uselessness. So naturally, she ends up falling for a manager, of course. At the very least, it's something that she can hang on to. Now, what's really interesting about her is how she's been carrying herself as this proper, reserved person. But it's really just a mask to cover her blunt personality that can make certain situations at the least awkward and outright tense. I mean, she confessed to the guy twice, and... It's that contrast between her outside appearance and her true self that much more fun to watch as a main character. Now the manager, Masami Kondo, is the other unlikely half to this relationship, and no lie, it's pretty fun watching him too, trying to navigate the minefield that's been dropped in front of him. He's coming off of a divorce and he's really just listless. With a son, he's stuck in the role of responsibility. It's implied that he should know what's the right answer, but at the same time, it's hard to not see him happy, especially when there's that young, energetic self that he's rediscovering with her. Sure, he's definitely clumsy both literally and socially, but it doesn't come off as ill or creepy. Now, my favorite scene that perfectly summed up characters and their relationship to each other was at the tail end of the third episode, where the manager takes Akira home to avoid the rain, and cue that awkward car ride as the two work out how the other feels about them. But what really stood out to me was how stubborn Akira was, to the fairly valid reasoning that Masami was giving her. Still, she stands her ground, and it's something that both charms and surprises him. In fact, she's so honest in her desire that she misreads his proposition to a date as an actual invitation instead of a point in his argument, as Akira is taking every chance she gets to secure her spot next to the manager, despite his repeated protests, it just feels natural. It's a really charming anime series that's got me, that's for sure. The concept may be iffy for some people, but there's been worse, so don't let it get to you. At the heart of this, there's a simple love story that I'm already invested in, and suggest that you guys check out too if you haven't already.